come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining of marriage together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. The bond and covenant of marriage was established by God in creation, and our Lord Jesus Christ adorned this manner by his life and his presence, first at the miracle of Cana of Galilee, and then it signifies to us the mystery of the union between Christ and his church as a sacred and loving union between the marriage of two people. The union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given one another in prosperity and adversity, and their nurture in the knowledge and love of the Lord. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purpose for which it was instituted by God. In this holy union, Laura and Peter now come to be joined. <laughs> I have a, a love poem I'd like to read. <laughs> I did write it, Elizabeth Barrett Browning. Mm. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. I love thee to the depth and breadth and height my soul can reach when feeling out of sight. For the ends of being and ideal grace, I love thee to the level of every day's most quiet need by sun and candlelight. I love thee freely as men strive for right. I love thee purely as they turn from praise. I love thee with the passion put to use for my old grief. And with my childhood's faith, I love thee with the love I seem to lose with my lost name. I love thee with the breath, smiles, tears of all my life. And if God choose, I shall love thee better after death.
gathered here together as our witnesses, and the people gathered here together as our witnesses. I promise to love you, I promise to love you, and honor you and forever. Honor Divine Spirit, this community asks your blessing upon this couple and this marriage, so that they may love, honor, and cherish each other, so that they may love, honor, and cherish each other in faithfulness and patience, in faithfulness and patience, in wisdom and true godliness, in wisdom and true godliness. That their home may be a heaven of happiness and peace and blessing. We ask also that you pre that God preserve you and keep you. We ask that God preserve you and keep you. May the Lord look mercifully with his favor on you. May the Lord look mercifully with his favor upon you. May he fill you with all spiritual benediction and grace. May he fill you with all spiritual benediction and light. Made again. Together, <laughs> and have life everlasting in the age to come. Amen. 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 <laughs> age to come. Amen. Amen. Beautiful. Now they are blessed by the community, which is really great. Aww. Eternal God and creator and preserver of all life, look with favor upon this man and this woman, now joined in wedlock forever. Give them wisdom and devotion ordering their common life. <laughs> Excuse me. That each may be to the other a strength in need, a counselor in perplexity, a comfort in sorrow, and a companion in joy. Laura and Peter have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, by the joining of hands, and the giving and receiving of grace. And with the power invested in me by the your faith, I now pronounce you man and wife. Rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Forget the world now, we won't let them see. 